I finally got my mortar and pestle. I've been waiting like a week for this to arrive and it finally got here. So I dehydrated some garlic and I'm grinding it up into garlic powder. So I have a container here um, that's empty. I've used it all up. Um, I mean, heck, I had two containers in the kitchen and they're both empty now. Uh, but this one's empty and clean and dry and it's clear, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is grind up the garlic I've dehydrated and um, put it in this container. So I've got the dehydrator as a tool, uh, mortar and pestle, and then I also have a metal strainer to help um, sift out the larger particles, um, which I've already done a little bit. So what I'll do on uh, these more coarse grindings, I'll probably do another round in the mortar. Um, but yeah, I'm getting this fine powder and I'm really excited. So um, the, I can't remember how much garlic I dehydrated. Um, the, what I was doing is using up the garlic that I had cloved up on the counter. So I had four braids of garlic from the garden, one of which was garlic I set aside for planting because they were nice big bulbs. Um, so the three other braids hanging out in the dining room um, are for consuming. So the fourth braid of seed garlic, um, I didn't plant all of the cloves. You know, sometimes in a bulb there are like big cloves and then some little ones. So the little ones um, I put in the kitchen here and I've been trying to consume through those. But it's such, a, there's a lot of them. Um, and I kept using garlic powder. So um, that's what I have in this first batch here. I did add some from the dining room as well, but I have two and a half braids still over there uh, to consume before the next harvest. So yeah, I'm liking this batch so far. So I'm gonna get through grinding this and see, let's see how far I can fill up this container with garlic powder. So my dehydrator has kind of large mesh here. So I put down, I cut out a ring very poorly <laughs> out of parchment paper um, to put down so that these little pieces wouldn't fall through. And it looks like it worked pretty well. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this parchment and I'll just do another batch of dehydrating garlic using this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just putting a few of these. See, I just sliced them, not even super thin. It's like half a centimeter thick. Um, and they're crunchy. I dehydrated them. And then I'm just gonna grind them up. figured out how to hold this so it's comfortable because it's turning my palm pretty red putting all that force on there I don't want to get blisters so <laughs> I'm still figuring out how to hold this Thank you. 
so I've got it ground down to this and there's still some garlic skin in there it sounds nasty doesn't it <laughs> okay so then I get my sifter here and I just I first make sure it's over the bowl <laughs> uh, and then dump this in and then I'm just gonna tap it and you can see the powder on top is just falling off to the sides and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna um, dump this over here in this bowl with the coarser pieces some powder <laughs> and so this um, actually I'll do that right now I'm just gonna put this back in here and just give it another go with the pestle and yeah basically just repeat that whole process just getting as much powder as possible so we'll see how much I can get I also dried the smallest amount of tiny little basil leaves. Um, I have a plant indoors for the winter uh, and it needed a trim. Not that I got a lot off of it, but I don't like having things go to waste. So I thought, you know what, I will mix in the smallest amount of basil with this garlic. So I'm sure I'm going to find leaves, yep, falling down on all the different racks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm going to mix in some basil. I wouldn't normally do this, but I mean, what am I going to do with that, right? I'm just going to mix it in. It'll be fine. I also had a single bulb of elephant garlic where like the whole bulb just grew as one solid piece, right, instead of into cloves. So I also <laughs> uh, dehydrated that. So these big ones that look like banana chips, this is the elephant garlic. And it does just snap. So I'm going to throw that in as well. Elephant garlic has um, a more mild flavor than the soft neck. Uh, but I'm just going to mix it all in together. <laughs> See, I told you there'd be basil all over. 
So this is the last tray. So that first tray with parchment paper on it had about the same amount of garlic. So if that gives you an idea how much I got going on here. But yeah, I just have to get through this tray and then we can see how much we have. Well, that only took me an hour. That's pretty good. I thought it would take me longer than that. <laughs> uh, it took me an hour and these are the coarse bits I have uh, very little. Uh, I was able to keep putting it through and keep putting it through, but these bits just don't seem to be grinding down, so they're going to go in the compost. I think that's fair. <laughs> uh, what we did get is all of this loveliness. So what I'm going to do is um, put the container on the scale and we're going to weigh how much garlic powder we have um, for that. But I do want to show you the counter now that the, the job is almost finished. So this is not like a super tidy job. I do have garlic powder kind of all over the counter. I am not going to wipe this up and use it. I'm going to put it in the in the compost. Um, I'll just wipe the counter off into my hand and I'll throw it in the compost container over here and, and that'll be that, right? Um, but yeah, it's I got garlic powder all over. Um, my hands are a little sticky from the garlic. You know how when you cut fresh garlic, it, it makes your hands all sticky? So the outside of the mortar here is... This is the mortar, right? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I actually don't know which piece is which, uh, but it's kind of sticky from me touching the garlic. So, uh, but yeah, this is all that's going in as waste into the compost. The rest is all in here. So let's get a funnel and put this in the container. Okay, so I have my container. I'm going to take the lid off it and weigh it and then tear off that weight. And I have a funnel so we can um, hopefully not lose more garlic powder in this process. And so basically I want to see how much garlic powder we have. So let's do, let's do grams. So it looks like the container weighs 35 grams. So I'm going to tear, I'm going to tear that weight off, and then put this funnel up here, and then carefully <laughs> oh, this is cool. Boy, you really better like garlic if you're going to be doing this because. House smelled like garlic while it was dehydrating. This is definitely like a cloud of garlic. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. So 87 grams. So I have 87 grams of garlic. That's pretty good. Look at that. It's like a third. A fourth of the container. Yeah, so almost a hundred grams of garlic powder. I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with this whole thing. So I'm gonna get some more garlic dehydrating over here because, like I said, I have two and a half braids to go through. So if you have any questions about um, this whole process I went through of making garlic powder, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any suggestions about how I made garlic powder today, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear your questions and suggestions um, just to improve, you know, the whole gardening experience. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.